Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here in Lovelock, as I have good news. I've been looking all over the place for a uh, set of pliers. I couldn't find any. I went to New Reno, couldn't find any. I went to Vault City, to Girlash, to uh, the other Bl Black Rock or whatever it's called. Couldn't find anything. And uh, yeah, so I just decided, you know what, let's give it a shot. And I did give it a shot, and uh, I got good news for you. We can proceed in this operation without a set of pliers. Without a set of pliers. That guy fooled me. Absolutely fooled me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, I just went over there. I was actually planning on buying a combat knife rather than one of these rusty old things. Uh, sharp bladed cutting and stabbing weapon. I mean, it looks pretty rusty to me, but... Uh, but yeah, so uh, it's, combat, it's a combat knife sort of look thing. Um, and uh, we're going to heal Mac on. Let's do that. Uh, also, let's save the game here. And uh, let's have a chat here with, with the niche Kiv the ruffled feathers. Hi. Uh, what do you need, outsider? I need... Um, I'm ready for uh, Mac on. Shall we? Uh, uh, I'm ready. He takes a deep breath and then nods. It is time. You have a sharp knife? Yes, a flick knife. Good. Then we shall begin. Okay. And you'll notice that I did not improve my mo doctor's skill. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, the ruffled feathers, his hands shake slightly, but he looks determined. We must make sure Macon does not awake during the operation. What will we use, he asks. Uh, well, I don't know if I can use the first aid kit twice. Because I'm gonna need it. Let's experiment with that. I got some painkillers in this first aid kit. Okay. Good. See, the boy's eyes are already closing. He is in the world of dreams now. Let's prepare his wounds. And he, his hands tremble as he removes the bandages from Macon's feet. But his movements are confident. What will we use to prevent infection? Those spirits are very cunning. Um, well, clean water. I have clean water over here. Everything is ready. He says we must set his bones. Hand me the knife. We must first remove the loose fragments under the skin. Do you have pliers or something like that? No. Hmm. That is not good. Fortunately, I have some pre-war tweezers here. They are a poor tool for such a delicate operation, but there is nothing else. Hold his legs while I remove the fragments. Okay. Oh, also, by the way, you said bullet fragments or bone fragments? Remove... Okay, yeah, I think it's bone fragments. He broke his legs or something. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's do that. You spend half an hour treating uh, Macon's wounds and removing small bone fragments from his legs. We must wash out the pus. We'll, uh, we'll have to open the wounds. Why are you standing around? We cannot afford to lose any time. Hold his legs while I remove the pus or release the pus. Okay. The tissue is clean. There is no turning back now. It is time to straighten his bones. And he takes a deep breath. If we damage the tissue, he will be as bad as when he start as when we started. Let's begin. You clean the wounds, and he says, "Now we must stitch the wounds shut, or at least bandage them tightly." Yeah, I got a first aid kit. Great. Let's go with that. Oh, we could use a gecko skin. Nice. Uh, his he blinks rapidly as sweat runs into his eyes. Now we must splint his leg, he says. I have wooden poles and some cloth to tie them. And you and him carefully split Macon's injured legs. Macon slowly starts to come around, moaning softly. Quiet, little bear. Stay strong. We are almost done. Okay, what's next? Finally, you tie the last bandage. Nishkigvan stands, his hands shaking with fatigue. The operation is complete, he says. Macon's body must heal. We must decide how to rehabilitate him. Yeah, we'll, we'll use all the things. Um... I have steam packs. Inject him with it tomorrow. It will help him heal faster. The healer's face is pale and slick with sweat. He washes his hands and steps outside for some fresh air. And there we go! We have treated Macon, uh, his crippling injuries, and uh, I we have learned something new both. I have 13 on Doctor, and I have 18. I have just... Oh, boy. Is that him? That is him. <laughs> He just passes out. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take advantage of that, of course, because, of course, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And gain uh, 10 experience. Thank you. I'll also steal from you in here, although I do think that I might have done that a bit. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, take that. Hey, Macon, can I steal from you? 
Is that okay? I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the items I spent on him. No, he doesn't. Okay. So, I lost... Let's go into drugs. I lost the first aid kit. I lost the steam pack. Everything is good. I'm okay with everything. Let's, uh... Yeah, we have food. We are good to go. Hey, can I talk to you? I feel sick, he says. Yeah, well... He, mm. Is it bad that he feels sick? Is that a bad thing? Uh... So... Can I tell, tell you about... I want to ask you something. I can't tell him about the, the my, little Micon. Huh. It is a happy day when you come to our camp, Wanderer. How can an old shaman help you? Uh, did I talk to you? Must complete my daily ritual. I did. It's the... No, that's why he's over here. Well, actually, this reminds me. I might be able to steal from him. Because he lives up here. I probably did already steal from him. Oh, yeah. I definitely did. And there's not people in here, so this is good news. So I can check in. And everything is good. Let's wait. Now we have time, so I can just wait. Easily enough. Let's wait until morning. Hopefully we don't take radiation. Although we are going back to Vault City, so it's not that big of a deal. Hey, he's still sick. Come on. How long is he going to stay there? I'll come back later. It's fine. It's fine. See you later, guys. Yeah. So we're going to Vault City. Uh, we need... Uh, we're going to Vault City before anything. We have a quest there that we need to do. We also have, uh, we got any, a random encounter. Oh, this is bad. Come over, fellas, says that guy. I don't know what you have, sir. What do you have? I don't know what he has. I don't like what he has. Do I have a rifle? Well, I do have a rifle, but the point is, do I have a sniper rifle? Do I need a sniper rifle? Maybe I don't. This guy's gonna be a problem, though, so let's go for the eyes. Boo. Go for the eyes. So, unfortunately... Oh, boy, this is probably gonna be bad. Unfortunately, that didn't kill him. Or blind him, I should say. Blinding him that time, okay. Okay, that guy is off. And that guy over there is also not having any of it. Any of it, And uh, I think we're good. Let's uh, reload. Let's go into weapons. Let's put that over there. Let's go into ammo. Let's reload. Can I? Oh, it's loaded already. And then... Well, I'm not going to be able to shoot you very well. Let's see, so I need six action points, that would mean one action point still to go. That's not a good enough shot. Let's go with that for the head. That's a kill, okay. And she's running. That's another kill. This is perfect. Yep. Oh, a 91, uh, 95% miss. It was, no, it was a 91. But we have other things. Did we actually get any, a description of what happened here when we were ambushed? I think we might... Can I use the scroll wheel? I can indeed. Fantastic. Okay, so... Uh, what is his name? Avani Gidzi... Oh my god. I don't know how to pronounce those things. Uh, so, a group of bandits waiting to ambush. Sure. Okay, so that's my sniper rifle. I probably don't want it. I probably want this like that. Big oh, I don't like that. Okay, good, because he didn't stack the the ammo, and that was weird. Uh, I'll take all this. Why not? I have room, so yeah. That was a spear, and we have a knife. I'll take all that, and you had another spear, and I'll take all that as well. Then we got pep gas over here. Nothing out of the ordinary though. Oh boy, this is definitely a thing, and uh, it's just a gas, gas, a gasoline thingy. Okay. Oh. Soundtrack right now is very spooky, by the way. Okay, let's take these, because they are worth a little bit, a lot more than the spears. Oh, and that's definitely worth something. Really good stuff. All things considered. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. And up we go, back to Vault City. No, oh, I'm... Yes. So we're gonna need to cross the mountains. Uh, but we have time, even though we are on the track of someone who has just spent the night in the hotel down there, I think. Uh, so one of the things that we need to do in Vault City is actually tell uh, that other guy that wants to kill uh, Gerlach, kill the off everyone in Gerlach, um, is uh, tell him that, uh, yes, I will kill everyone in Gerlach. So uh, that's what I'm going to do first. 
these people don't actually have any ammo for me. Oh, I do have some things over here, so this might be good. Hello, sir. Um, and uh, I need to talk to, about, uh, to you about the special assignment. I have an iron synthesizer. Uh, looks functional, thanks, citizen. Do you have anything else? Uh, a pulse modulator. Oh, looks functional, thanks, citizen. Do you have anything else? No. No, I don't. But that's 500 experience per, and that's weight as well off my back, which is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. So, that taken care of. We can go... Oh, by the way, we can repair this light. I was looking around and I found that there are some lights up here that are also broken. So, yeah, fantastic. Uh, Vinny! Yes, about Gerlach. Um... They are savages. Uh, murder, 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 murder. Um... Yes. Uh, we'll give you everything you need. Good, good, good. Give me all the things. We're looking forward for your report, citizen. Long live old city. Yes, yes, sure. D just lo not long live Verlac. Oh, no, that's not what I want. What? Gerlac. Did I say Verlac? It's sort of the same thing. I want the... Do I need to tell him... Do I need to tell him that uh, they're nice? Yeah, they. they I do. Uh, slaves, hard workers. That makes sense. Yes, yes. Uh... Yes, fix the water pump. Good. Do I have the thing? No. Dang it. I need to read that, don't I? I'm sorry. Let's give it a shot. Because last time around, I just didn't want anything. So about Gerlach. They're strong-willed, uh, which actually, well... Um, uh, so that's uh, sur that's not so, so surprising. They tried to leave as a small, tight-knit community. Maybe that's why they left big cities... Uh, what do you mean? Uh, we have to risk our citizens doing dangerous tasks, such as decontaminating radioactive areas. Then, yeah, they, they want that. Um, so let's go with that. Can you actually trade? No. Can I actually see what you have? Uh, everybody wins. We give them food, shelter, medicine, and slavery, and they give us the slaves. Um, let's see. Hired workers, given a chance... Let's go with that. I'm glad to hear that. We've discussed this with the committee, but uh, they haven't made a decision yet. Now we have you. Give Gerlach our proposal, but don't tell them our location until you make a deal. Hmm. We'll have to fix Gerlach's water pump before they trust us. No problem, I'll put in a request with the water house right now. And we are looking forward to your report, citizen. Long live Vault City. Okay. S he doesn't actually give me the... Oh! <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have the fuse already. Where did I get this fuse? I remember getting it. I didn't expect it to be... Well, there we go. Yeah, I didn't, didn't even think about it. We don't need to... Yeah, we don't need to lie to that guy. Fantastic. You know who we need to talk to? Whom we need to talk to? Harold. I'm not going to be able to imitate his voice very well. Um, hey, smooth skin, you ever seen The Walking Dead before? Nah. Scary, huh? How about a couple of bucks for the show? Um, yeah, Sergeant Graves says that uh, you're the victim of a special virus. Did he figure that out on his own? He's a clever one. Or maybe he talked to that doctor in your... Uh, talked to that vault, the doctor in your vault. You should too, he's smart. Smart and cunning. Yeah, how did you get infected? Ah, uh, right at the source. Richard Gray, a doctor in the hub. But put and by the way, Richard Gray is the character that we see at the beginning of the game in our uh, in our uh, dream. And if you know Fall Two, you know who he is. And if you remember who he is from Fall Two as well, because I didn't remember when I recorded the first episode. Put together an expedition to find where the virus was coming from. God, Richard, I'd known him for about ten years then. Wait a minute. Is it ever acknowledged that Harold comes from Vault Eight? And specifically, Richard Gray comes from Vault 8. Or is that they just took that as a sort of, oh, that's they didn't, never said where he comes from? Let's just pretend that he come from here. Because that is smart. Um, the source? You mean the source of all the mutated animals? You found it? Come on, Harold. I'm putting you on the spot right now. Because that's not where all the mutated animals comes from, come from. We found something, all right. Good, he doesn't say that. Wasn't a lot left of us by the time we got inside. It was just Gray and me by the time we got to the core. And then a robotic crane got to drop on us. Last I saw of Gray, he was 
f falling into some sort of acid bath. Me, I passed out. I don't know what happened next. Woke up in the wasteland all broken up and already changing. Oh, boy. Sounds like it was a long time ago, though. When did this happen? Oh, uh, this was long ago, friend. I don't even remember where the place was. All I can remember is it was somewhere in the desert. Huh. Well, that narrows it down. Ha, <laughs> you know, you're not that bad for a smooth skin. Because that line is what you say after somebody says something sarcastically. <sighs> Still, when did this happen? I'd say about 50 years ago. I know, I look too young and handsome for that, right? <laughs> I'm not a pr as pretty as I used to be, but I'm pretty well preserved. Tends to spook people, though. That's why I left the hub. Figured I'd rather walk out than get thrown around. Or thrown out. Uh, the hub? How far away is it? There's no such place. Come on. You lived in your vault all, all, your entire life. How the hell? You don't know where things are. How the hell do you know what, if there's a place like that? If he said, oh, I, I left a city made of gold and bits, there's, then I guess you would, say, you would say there's no such place. How far away is the hub? Far. Don't even think about going there. Okay, let's talk about your friend then. Richard Gray, right? Yeah, a little older than me, and friend was... And friend was he smart, a doctor and a philosopher. He, we knew each other about ten years. Ah, he, once he got drunk and told me he came from Vault Eight. Funny, huh? Oh. Oh, that that explains that. Oh, okay. So Harold didn't come from Vault Eight. Uh, there would be. Actually, I didn't think of the implications about him coming from Vault Eight, because that would be weird of them imprisoning a. Well, them not freaking out about a fifty-year-old disappeared citizen that probably is about a hundred and something right now. I think he was alive before the war. I'm pretty sure he was alive before the war. Especially because this was 50 years ago, so it was right after the war, like, well, 17 years after the war, as we saw in the, well, not necessarily right at, uh, right at the end, intro, but still, in the intro was very close to the war. Um, you got any proof? <laughs> That's not what you ask. Come on, if somebody tells you a funny story... Or a funny story. Somebody tells you a, an incredulous story. You don't ask for proof. It's like, oh, you know, I used to be a doctor back home. But now I, well, I broke my legs. And now I can't stand to do the, the, whatever the doctors do with legs. I don't, I don't even know where this was going. But still, and you don't ask for proof of a person that says like that. You just either believe them or you don't. And you don't tell them that. Um, the point is... Yeah, the point is, this line is about not believing. You wouldn't ask for proof, you would just say, yeah, you're full of it. Uh, which makes more sense. Uh, he came from here? What happened to him? Where is he now? I don't know exactly what happened to him. I guess you're gonna have to play Fallout 1 for that. But I know that not far from the hub, cultists are building some sort of cathedral. I've been there, and I know who's behind it. Uh, do you know who's behind it? Wait a minute, what the hell? Who's behind it then? Can I ask that? No, because how'd you find out? I can't explain it to you, but soon you'll understand. Things in the waste are changing fast. Yes, they are. Uh, why did you tell me uh, about it then? Did you talk to anyone in the hub about it? Because when I saw the number of your on your vault, I remembered Richard, and your doctor believed me right away. Ask him why I told you. Everyone in the hub just called me crazy, and to be honest, they're right. Ha! I still don't have a tree growing out of my head, though, but there's a little bit of grass, which is nice for the pain. I hear. Uh, whatever, I won't get anything useful from you anyway. Uh, maybe I will, because there's some things that I need to talk to you um, about. Um, mm -hmm. Does he get mad permanently? No, he doesn't. Eh, look at that. I can leave without insulting him. Ask no more than this. Oh, he's singing the uh, kiss the, uh, to, dream, to build the dream on. Um, yeah, I think that is one of the, the verses. So, Doctor, I have radiation sickness. Yes. Yes. The next. Oh, boy. Now I don't have a radiation sickness. Am I infected? No, it's not there. It doesn't say that I'm infected. My kills are there. Everything is good. Okay, Doctor, um, did you see that dead guy? The mutant? Uh, he was exposed to some sort of virus, but radiation... I forgot about his voice, by the way, but sorry. Uh, but radiation may have played a part, too. Unfortunately, the virus extends... Uh, 
the, the virus extends his suffering along with his lifetime. It's like the ring from the Lord of the Rings, except with more suffering and ugly. And less, well, dying, to be honest. Uh, could he infect us? Nah, not likely. He himself is not a source of radiation, nor is he a viral carrier. Is that how virus works? Are not virus always viral? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Actually, that, that is a good question. He might not be able to infect us. At least to the, uh, the well. Actually, the FEV is not a traditional virus, uh, so infection probably would be limited in that in this regard. Even blood transplants might not uh, infect people, but uh, you know, from super mutants and stuff. So, what do you think of Harold's mental abilities? Despite his mutation and age, this mutant is a teenager. He likes to fool around, but understands everything perfectly. He's preserved his interest in life, at least for now. Who knows, maybe such a long life will finally change him. Uh, what about Richard Gray? Oh, Richard Gray? He never had any citizens by... We never had any citizens by that name. Perhaps you mean Richard Moreau. Oh, that's why I didn't remember his name. Huh, that makes sense. Yes, I mean Richard Moreau. I'm sorry. He mysteriously disappeared during the first expedition to the outside world. That was a long time ago. Uh, yeah. I, he said he came from here. That wouldn't take him so seriously. Who knows what's going on in his head? If Richard, he's growing grass. If Richard Morrell mutated just like Harold, then well, not quite. Uh, then theoretically, he could change his name. But I doubt it, because you know, that's the only way people can change their names, especially in a post-apocalypse. You need to mutate, just like Harold. Oh uh, boy. Uh, so uh, tell me about the mutations. There are three types of mutations I'm aware of, if we classify them by genes genesis factor. Toxins, radiation, and viruses. The first two are usually very unstable and cause death, or a twisted form of existence, but viral mutation is special. Un not the character system, though. Unfortunately, I have little knowledge in this field. I simply have no material for studies. Uh, you need, you need a mutant for your research? No, not a whole live one. I need to compare Harold's blood with samples from different mutated creatures in the wasteland. No, sorry, not the wasteland at all. The wasteland. I've tried to organize a research team to collect samples several times, but the committee always denies me. They say the patrols risk their lives enough having ha uh, without having to worry about my research. Oh, yeah, because who cares about scientific inquiries and things? Um, I can get some samples. You can? I didn't think of that! Even though you're the only... Seriously? You didn't think of that? Oh my god. <laughs> Take this set of sterile syringes. I got plenty. Don't ask me what I got them. Uh, and collect samples of animal blood from the wastes. I'm interested in pig rats, coyotes, and geckos. Or something that resembles their family, at least. Pig rats... They exist in this game? Oh, I'm, I don't like that. Uh, write it down so you can remember. And be careful. If something happens, I can always provide you with medical assistance. Uh, yes, I, I do know that. That is fantastic. Where can I find those animals? Pig rats can be found in the West Ruins. For coyotes, you'll have to look further. But patrol reports suggest you can find them in the desert to the southeast. Geckos are all over the place, but usually congregate near the mountains. Oh, that's... I hope that's how that goes in the world map. That sounds pretty cool. Um, when I was go going around... Excuse the hiccup. When I was going around and, um, and looking for pliers... I did come across some, uh, not coyotes, some dogs, or wolves or something, I don't know. But, you know, just dogs out in the middle of the wasteland. But, uh, yeah. So, that's pretty good. Okay, I'll go. Thank you very much. Can I talk to your assistant? See if she needs anything. Um, mm -hmm. No. No. Does she trade? No. She also doesn't. Bye. See you later. Uh, now, you, sir, I will try to trade with you. I want you do not do that and I'll try to go downstairs I probably won't be able to I got experience nice this elevator takes to the lower levels uh, of the vault but you don't have the code for the activation good let's uh, fix some lamps oh that's the lamp I saw and uh, I actually managed to fix it I was trying it took me like 10 tr 10 tries but uh, as long as I don't break it I'll, I'll I'm good with that there it is it gives you a hundred experience. That's how good it gets. So, the West Ruins. They said there were pig rats in the West Ruins. I don't think these are the West Ruins. I'll still check. Everyone is dead. Maybe, maybe these are the West Ruins. That's the pot of poison over there. That's the truck of 
radiation. And everything is good. Let's get out. <laughs> so these guys don't trade anything, which kind of sucks. But, um, but yeah, well, it sucks major. Uh, so I just, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with them. There's no more broken lights that I can see. Uh, do I need anything else? Let's look at the map. Let's go into Vault City over here, and I need to collect for Dr. Wilmoth's blood samples of pig rats, space coma, coyotes, and geckos. Oh, not even a... come on. Come on! Not only is it a weird anastrophe, collect for Dr. Wilmoth blood samples of pig rats, uh, and also that punctuation error, but also, come on, an Oxford coma here and there. It doesn't hurt, you jerks. Retrieve the device that has been stolen by the biker. Oh, yeah. And complete the special warehouse assignment. Oh, yeah. I will all, all do that in good time. Um, then over here, I also looked around here for uh, for pliers. Didn't find any. And we need to leave. So we're going first off to... Gerlach? Oh. How could I... How, how could I be so careless? How could I be this careless? I... How could I be this careless? I, I'm, sh I'm like, you might, you might have been noticing that that I am being careless right now. I came here for a quest. The quest is here, and I didn't talk to him. No, I did. What? I did. I did. What's that quest? Hmm. I got tr I got lost because I was talking to Harold. Sergeant Greaves. Sergeant Greaves. Hmm. I don't remember what he asked. I might have completed it. Find the missing robot scout. Spend suspicious citizens. I don't think so. He definitely had a quest for me. And, um... I don't remember what it is. But, uh... But, yeah, I definitely... I definitely saw that. Might have been for... Yeah, he definitely had a quest. What a weird thing. Huh. Well, what are time for the day? So, I'm gonna look... I'm gonna see if I got that quest... Um, and, uh, well, we'll s I'll, I'll figure it out. But, uh, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner, rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.